Another day, another locals, another championship. Let's go. Not today, not tomorrow, but one day. Good question, bro. All right, so we're about to get our last car we need in our deck. So we just got the 401. We're going to play in our turning today, but we are missing two Destiny Hero Malicious. So I gotta go find some traders, hopefully some players here have it. Cause without Malicious in our deck, I don't think we could play it in this new strategy that I have. Yo, you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, <laughs> you have two? Yeah, I got two right here. Yo, what's your value, bro? I mean, they're like commons, but I mean, they're Malicious, I guess. Okay, they're Malicious, okay, I got you. I have some traders, give me one sec. Okay, thank you, bro, thank you. You guys playing in today's training? Yeah, I'm playing today. Okay. You guys playing for second? What, what deck are you playing today? I'm playing... Done, bro. I'm, I'm like, the, I'm like, the, I'm like the most evil person of all time. I have, no, I'm already missing. Time. What are you talking about? I'm bro? dodging you the whole way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you better be, bro. I have like an 80 percent win rate. Not ironic. Oh god. <laughs> hey, I'll take the thing here too. I'm pretty sure it's like uh, over, oh, like yeah, wait. like super over. We'll see though. Isn't that worth like more than yeah, malicious? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You're not trying to rip me off, are you? <laughs> you bro, I'm a scammer, bro. Uh, how much is the thing here worth? The thing here Let's check. Actually, I think I. Wait, I don't have TCG player on my phone, bro. Uh, wait one second. I have an idea. Yeah, my buddy works here. I'm gonna go ask him. So my buddy actually works here. So I can go ask him how much the gear suit is worth. But he's with the customer, so I have to wait. Yo, what's I up? What's it. up? How's it going? Yo, filming a vlog, bro. You playing today in the training? Yeah, of course. Are you? Yeah. No way. I'm playing pendulums with heroes. Uh, heroes? Yeah, I gotta get malicious. I'm gonna get it right now. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if I face you, I'll have a surprise. It's not pendulum. It uh, is pendulum, but it's not like. Sick. I'm super excited. Yo, Milano. Do it. Quick question, bro. I told everyone I have a friend that works here. I'm trying to trade right now for some maliciouses. Malicious? Yeah. Like Destiny Hero Malicious? Yeah, it's like a dollar, right? Sure, yeah, something like that. So I have, I'm giving him my Digirsu. How much is the Ulti Digirsu worth? Wait, what? Like 90 or something? It's like 80 bucks? Wait, shit, it might not be Ulti. What about the other Digirsu? Still like 10 bucks. Okay, okay, thank you. You <laughs> saved us from getting ripped off. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're good. Th th thanks to Milano, we could get some extra cards here. So would you do the uh, the invocation? Oh, yeah. Awesome. The awesome. All right, chat, let me know who wins this deal, okay? I don't know how much anything is worth. So in the comments, let me know who wins. I get invocation and two maliciouses, and he gets a thing gears too. So let me know who wins, okay, guys? Did you rip me off? I mean, I don't think so. I think invocation is like 15, though, isn't it? I ripped you off. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Yo, chat, look at this. I've never seen a card in my life. Did you see the top? What the? <laughs> Let's go, baby! It's over. They're playing my track. I'm good. No one has a chance. No one has a chance. You're playing for second, bro. This track's insane. Cable three, I got Nicholas versus Matthew. Cable four, Ryan versus Daniel. Cable five, Mark versus Kirk. Cable six, Tino versus Daniel. Uh, table 7, Steven versus Alex, and Table 8, Locals, let's go! I'm excited, I'm excited. Here, I'm gonna end up going first, I go Allure, Mali, he hits with D-Shifter, and even though he has D-Shifter, we're playing on a Mighty Master and Deviant playmat, which you can find on TripGaming.com. So because we're playing with that, we're still able to set up a Guska Pengraft, and Maguska is gonna be really good against his OTK deck here. I, he made me go first, so I knew he was playing some form of that. Sadly, we get hit with Bigfoot, and I'm like, Sag, Sag, Sag. We have Pengraf there to pop his card. Now, D Shifter does hurt Pendulums, but like I said, as long as you're playing on a trip giving playing mat, you got double wisdom right there. We aight. We aight. We aight. We aight. We're gonna clear all that. We're gonna start Pengraf here. We're gonna Pen Summon, get Baron de Floor out. Celestial effect, so you can activate any monster effects for us this turn. Time start to add. And this is gonna be an OTK through Needle Fiber Selene Access Code. Go for game. GG's. We're not gonna let the game number two over here. And man, this deck is just absolutely insane. It really is. It really is. Like, it really is. Like, doesn't matter, Droll, Shifter, like all these cards, we're playing around it. We build a deck to, for, uh, to play around all of these. 
He's gonna make us go first is what we expected. We go pen call, set up Harmo and Pensork. We're gonna go Baron de Floor. We just wanna set this up. Now Scythe doesn't do a lot against him, but does stop super poly. So uh, that is one thing to know. We put up DPE and uh, uh, I'm gonna pop my birthday so I don't get hit with super poly. It gets it with a Kaiju instead. He goes Twin Twister. I'm gonna negate that Baron de Floor. Bigfoot is gonna pop the Baron de Floor. Uh, Celestia is going to special back the Baron de Floor. He's going to go Alpha, which I'm going to pop. He has two cards left. I hit both of them. I hit the Thunderbird. He summons a Kaiju out, and I'm like, this is still an easy game for me because Pen does that. Let's go 1 0, baby. All right, guys, so we are 1 0. That was a great match. Uh, facing off against Grand Madrid. I didn't face Grand Madrid in so long, so it was great to finally play against it again after a while. We'll see who we face around to. Let's go. One play you guys need to catch on, okay? This will happen a lot. Maybe not through a Kaiju, but. Baron de Floor can summon back a DPE that was sent to the graveyard that's not coming back. That comes up a lot, especially when Baron de Floor's negate is gone. So make sure to capitalize on that play. So I'm just randomly walking around and I hear Spiral Flame Strike. Which one of you is playing that today? Well, I will auto scoop. Not anymore. I was gonna bring it. If I knew you were coming, I was gonna bring Odd Eyes. <laughs> it's like a proud father. <laughs> Thing yeah. super, uh, super. Every single time I play the shady fucking pigeon net. Yo, Tino, you win? Yeah. I just got Stone Cold Stuttered. Stone Cold Stuttered? Let's go. Stone Cold. People 3, Steven, James, Drew, and Oki versus Matthew. Tino. We're now in match number two over here. It is going to be Pendulums against Birds. And bird, the Bird deck, you know, it is easy to beat, but... Sadly, with hands like this, like you're gonna notice something right now. I get hit with a droll, and droll typically doesn't matter. But when you have like so many, as many spells as I do in my hand, I had three spells. I'm like, bro, come on, man. And the Nibiru. So game one, we couldn't play around droll nib. We simply needed one of our three spells to be a monster, and it's just so unfortunate that uh, we didn't have one of them. Like, there's so many ways that to uh, for that to happen. And uh, here he's gonna have he has four like three hand trap, four hand trap, fractal, something like that. I'm like, dude, this is so sad. Dro we played through droll and nib every fucking game, but. Uh, this one we couldn't play around Joel Nib game one. Uh, not, like it's so disappointing. All we needed, literally, just out of the three spells in our, we played nine spells. All we needed was just to draw uh, two spells instead of three spells. So it's very unfortunate. We're gonna go uh, here. You go Star Pen Graph. Uh, this, uh, after this, I actually thought about removing Star Pen Graph, which I am for my YCS list. I'm not playing Star Pen Graph, which is insane to think. But yeah, with these Diamond Core play mats that you see that you guys can't get anymore because they're sold out uh yeah we we're gonna end up having to is, is it why it's because it's sold out you guys were so crazy if i had any drum record play mats left on my website i probably would uh would have drawn two spells instead of three but it is what it is now we're gonna go on to this game and sad thing happens my phone ran out of space in the middle of this duel and it's an absolute shame because my opponent had droll and nibiru droll and nibiru and we still put up baron de floor sites lock with dpe we're just playing the best deck, bro. This deck is miles ahead of every other deck in the game. Doesn't matter how many hand traps you have. With a hand like this, with a deck like this, you can have a thousand. It still won't do anything. So now we're going to go straight to game three. And this game three is going to be a dandy. Let's go. Yes, as you guys saw over there, my phone ended up dying. We played through Droll and Nib, though. We played through Droll and Nib, win game two. Now this is game three. So game three pulls out his full combo, which is fine. Because I have nine cards to out all of this. Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, Dark Ruler. Like, this is very easy to defeat. I just need to draw one of the nine. And even then, I've cleared this board with only Pendulum cards many times. So even then, it's still no problem. At the end of the day, uh, think of old Pendulum and Demian boards. They're like, what, five negates? Bro, this deck only puts up four negates. Like, this is easy. Three negates and a bounce. This is very easily dealt with. Uh, so we go Allure here, and he goes Droll. I'm like, fuck, dude. Droll on top of this, this is so oppressive. And we have so many cards. Like, you could tell how, by how many cards are on my hand. We have so many spells here. So what I'm going to do in this scenario is i'm going to uh enter battle to kill the thing he doesn't respond to that in, in damage step so i kill uh that i can't respond to anything to pearl poison i go baguska here and i just have to hope that he does not have uh i have to really hope that he does not have access to omen uh, if he has omen i lose uh he had his omen and we lost droll the triv killer man anything what could you do let's go we are facing off against pks right now and I need to win this because we've already won one. We cannot afford another L. We cannot afford another L here. If we, I've done this before where I've won uh, three, I won three and one at locals and ended up winning the whole thing. But also X1 gets a whole box of, a uh, whole pack of the Millennium Gold thing. So I do want to get some of those. Uh, he goes Appaloosa. I bluffed a Nibiru. He has a Droll, which we played around by searching a monster. Pen summon our whole hand out. 
He Apocalypse the Harmo. I'm like, this is fine. Still need to play around that, but lose out, you can do it in a great way. And I bluffed Nibiru hard. I was literally like hard, hard bluffing Nibiru, um, like looking so anxiously about it. He goes fog blade on the time star, make a huge, massive misplay here, where I enter battle completely forgetting time star can't attack. Massive, massive mistake because if I didn't do that, we had game. Uh, because I'm, I'm I'm in M2 right now, so I'm so fucking sad I forgot that. Don't forget that, guys. Don't let my mistakes be your mistakes. Okay, you guys saw there. I forgot that I can't enter battle, so I lost that out there. I could have entered battle clear his whole board easily, but it's okay. We're still in a good position here. So I go uh, summon these the access code. I just want to clear his board, and then I go Verte. So I could have done way more than this. I could have had this plus so much more, but I did misplay a bit. So uh, still a great scenario for me here. Uh, there's still not much he, he can do. He just goes set one because uh, of how powerful the DPE is. And then I just go pen summon. And this is just game now on my turn. So I'm going to go on to game number two. And man, uh, my deck is so fucking clean. It's so good. Uh, luckily, he didn't go for the Scythe Lock. If you went Scythe Lock there, he did lose to Nibiru. I tried to bluff the Nibiru as much as I can. And you got to do this, man. Sometimes if you don't have Nibiru, and like you're going to lose. Like, you, have, you have to. You have to. It's part of the card game, mind game that we play here. Yu-Gi-Oh! is not just based on whoever has a better hand. It's based on whoever plays better mind tricks. Now, at this scenario, I tried to buff it again, but he wasn't going to fall for the same trick another time. So he goes uh, Dagda. Then he's going to go Verte pretty soon after he Dagdas. And uh, my only out to this, right, at the, at the Scythe Lock, I have Cosmic Cyclone. So I need to literally top deck this Cosmic Cyclone. And of course, I drew it for turn. <laughs> Let's go. Sally, the rest of my hand is dog shit, I believe. I scale these up. I pen summon these three. Really bad hand in this scenario. I'm trying to bait his card out. I need to put up my own DPE ASAP because he's going to have his own DPE. Uh, I enter battle. I clear everything ASAP. I go uh, at the end of it. Time, I protect my card with Time Star first because I knew he had Fog Blade. He's going to Fog Blade the Time Star. So I wanted to attack with Oak Dragon first to trigger uh, the Time Star setting, which doesn't activate. So he can't Fog Blade. This way I get a free vert uh, Verte out. It's not a Verte and a Time Star. Time Star uh, couldn't actually attack, so I couldn't put Zeus on top of it. So I'm, I'm left with DPE, but this is massive, massive because now I could use Time Star Effect at the end of it with my DPE. And uh, this is going to get me a solid plus for the following turn. So now he's going to get up. I'm gonna, we're going to have both our DPEs. My goal here is to survive. If I survive, I win the duel. I'm perfectly set up for the following turn. Uh, so he, he's thinking here because he has to kill me. If he doesn't kill me, he loses. So... I have Celestial Magician to special back my DPE, which I'm very aware of. Uh, he goes Axis Code Talker. This is all still good. I'm still in the game here. I go Pengraph right away, get rid of that. Uh, and uh, I also get to send because of Time Star. I end up clearing his whole field, uh, sending the DPE. I, I did it in a right, in a correct way where I send his DPE. And just like that, there's nothing you could do. That is a victory for the best deck, Pendulum. Let's go, baby. So at this point right now, we are two, went two wins, one loss. Uh, and we are going to... Oh, wait, he didn't even scoop. I thought that was him scooping. My bad, guys. <laughs> He's going to scoop soon. He's going to scoop soon. There's no way he can win this. And on my turn, I'm just going to go with Masquerade. He's going to bring up a Frog Blade. I'm going to pan a billion and win. But we're 2-1 and one right now. We need to win the next one. We need to win a Shrek's one. If we win the next one, we actually have an outside chance. If first per the per person we lost to loses, we have a chance to still finish first as long as we win our last match. Let's go. We ended up winning that match. Cosmic Cycle put in work. It is really good against Scythe. Very powerful. Uh, it acts as if it's a Chalice or any of that, but you can also put it against Trap decks, against Anti Spell, etc. So I think we got to play three Cosmic moving forward to stop the Scythe deck. And at the same time, we're still save side slots for Trap decks and Anti Spell, etc. Because TBH, the only way we lose is Anti Spell or Scythe. So now that we have Cosmic for them, we are good. I don't recommend Twin Twister simply because it'll destroy the Scythe, obviously, and it's a discard, and they could have something else like Solemn. You don't want to discard anything. Side deck's looking absolutely insane. We're going to test this out at a case tourney tomorrow. Uh, probably a few days after you're going to see this video. Let's go, Milano. Hopefully, we can still somehow win. I don't think we can because we're X1, but in some weird universe, if the person who we lost to loses in the finals and there's no other XOs, then in some weird world, we can still finish first place, as I did in the past vlog, if you guys remember it. Anyways, we're going next, go next round. Let's get it. We got some really bad news. This last round, we got paired up with literally the world's champion, Arnie. Arnie, bro, can you go easy on me? I'll think about it. you think about it? I'll think about it, son. But it's hilarious that he thinks I'm his son. In reality, he's my son. I'm, I'm your son. I'm so you're my you. son. I'm older than you. Bro. You're like 12. Whoa. You, you know, put, take out your mask. You even have a beard? I have a beard. What the this is <laughs> Yo, Milano. Yo. He was calling me bad names. 
Arnie, I'm gonna have to scold you for that. <laughs> what are you gonna do, do Farper me? No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap you because Steven's a bum. You're gonna beat him right no. now. You're gonna beat him right now. This is your morning. If I don't 2 owe him in 10 minutes, I'm considering this a loss for me. <laughs> Arnie, 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 talking shit to his father. This, that's not allowed. He's gonna. Sadly, though, we do end up breaking hard. <laughs> we end up breaking hard despite him talking shit. So a little disappointing, but it's okay. As you guys see here, this is why I don't want to play Star Pengraph uh, in my, our deck because look, in my hand I have Celestial and uh, I have two pieces of um, I have two pieces of DPE. So com combining that with Star Pengraph and Time Pengraph. It could lead you to a lot of bricks, but he's playing plunder, so it's just not gonna be enough. Even despite we brick, we're still gonna win because we're playing the best fucking deck, baby. That's it. And I still have to keep up my promise. I told him I'm gonna 2-0 his ass in 10 minutes. So we gotta, despite breaking hard, we still gotta achieve victory here. Now I don't know what the hell plunder does, so I'm just activating my cards randomly, but it's all good. We're still gonna end up victorious here for game one. We're gonna go on to game number two over here. And like a good son, he's gonna concede. So we're gonna go to Game two, I don't side deck much here against this matchup because I don't know if he's gonna make me go first or second because of the way I, I built his deck. I don't know, you know, how the heck he's power shuffling here. That is like an absolute war crime of power shuffling. And I'm gonna go Allure here. I'm gonna banish away tuning. I'm gonna go Duels and Lines, get pen call. Uh, I get out oh, these, pen summon. We're in a great scenario. Uh, I'm gonna pop my own double irons with a Baron de Floor, getting pen grab and scythe under pen call. Uh, DPE, and uh, this is our, our classic board. I'm gonna hit him with the, the scythe ASAP, and uh, he's gonna have to pass a turn. Uh, with that, I'm gonna bring out a Mali, and there's still not much he can do in this scenario. I don't know what his deck does, so I probably could have done this better, like way better, but I'm just gonna go for game. Uh, after he summons out all these cards, I'm just gonna, I'm like, this is fine, dude. No problem. He summons them all out. I'm just gonna pop them, go for game, and sadly, uh, we only 2 0 him in 15 minutes, uh, not 10, so I consider this a loss. Sadly, we didn't win in 10 minutes, so it didn't really count as a win. It took us 15 minutes, but it was a good match with Arnie. We lost. <laughs> it's always the stun decks. It's always the people with no playmat that play stun. <laughs> Bro, I'm just not interested in getting a playmat. Like, I mean, I have the money for it. I just don't care. You can get one right now at TripGaming.com. Milano, bro, I let you down. I didn't win today. Come on, bro. Next time, you got to make sure you bring your A. I I will. I will. I'm just saving it for Duel Night. Damn. Okay, see you. Yo, are you ready? Yo, it's like bro, tomorrow. Know, it's going to be tomorrow. Yo, this set, bro, it's going to be... Congratulations. Next once, we end up winning one of these. Sadly, we didn't win the whole thing. At least we get something. Let's see what we pull out of here. Yo, what's good in this maximum gold thing? Axis We're pulling an Axis Talker. And an invocation. That can't be the only thing. Not, nothing else? Open! Alright, let's go. We got this, guys. We're gonna draft some, get some cool stuff here. All right, so we get four packs. Four packs, we get Doodle Doo, Trash. All right, so far so bad. Yo, we got a whole Dragonling deck in here. Clock. Okay, ass. All right, we got this, guys. Axe Code Talker, one time. Wow. <laughs> Exodia. Okay. Baguska. All right. Axe Kotaka one time. Womp womp. Little trash, bro. Next time, guys. It's all good. Maybe we didn't pull nothing good. But what's important is that we had fun. <laughs> and by that I mean I'm fucking pissed we didn't win, but we'll win the next one. Hope you guys did the vlog. We'll see you guys next vlog. Peace.